This video will demonstrate the grid and snap functions, which are two ways to help you create precise drawings in AutoCAD LT. Let's start with the grid. The grid is a rectangular pattern of dots that extends over the area specified by the drawing limits. It helps you align objects and visualize the distances between them. The grid does not appear in the plotted drawing. The grid can be turned on or off from an icon on the status bar, or with the function key F7. To set the grid limits and spacing, right-click on the status bar icon and select Settings. Here, you can set the X and Y spacing of the grid. You can have different values for the X and Y spacing, if you uncheck the box that sets them equal, but here we'll leave them at the default of 0.5 units in each direction. The major line setting is only used with certain visual styles, not for everyday drafting. Adaptive grid means that LT will limit the density of the grid display when zoomed far out to help with object visibility. The last option, to extend the grid beyond the drawing limits, is often helpful since many people choose not to set drawing limits. Snap restricts the movement of the crosshairs to intervals that you have defined. It's useful for specifying precise points with the cursor. Snap can also be toggled from the status bar, or with the function key F9. When snap is on, the cursor seems to adhere, or snap, to a grid. The grid does not have to be on in order to use snap, although it is often helpful. You can see that although I turn the grid off, the cursor still moves in discrete intervals. To control snap settings, right-click on the status bar icon and select Settings. You'll notice it's the same dialog as for the grid settings. You see that snap spacing can be set to any value, independent of the current grid spacing. You might set a wide grid spacing to be used as reference, but maintain a closer snap spacing for accuracy in specifying points. For example, you might set the grid spacing to be 10 times the snap spacing in a metric drawing, or 12 times the snap spacing in an imperial drawing. Here, I'll set the snap spacing to 0.25 and the grid spacing to 1. When I click OK, you can see that the grid has spread out, but that the cursor is clearly moving between smaller intervals. If you're creating isometric drawings, you can use an isometric grid and snap with the option in the bottom left-hand corner. Notice that some options above are grayed out when this option is selected. When I click OK, you can see that this skews the grid to conform to isometric drawing angles. You can also set snaps to act along the polar grid, which interacts with the polar tracking angles to enable you to draw to specific intervals along multiple angles. Polar snap is completely independent of the grid settings. With the polar snap spacing set to 1, when I click OK, I can start drawing a line and choose any point in the drawing for my first point. However, once I've started, I'm constrained to one unit intervals. Now you have seen how to use the grid and snap functions, which are two ways to help you draw precisely in AutoCAD LT. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com/autocadlt.